Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel welcome back to another video of android studio and guys in this video we will learn how to insert data in sqlite database in the previous video we learned how we can create sqlite database how we can create tables while creating database and on runtime and how to open and close database and in this video we will learn how we can insert data inside our tables so let's start and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to it with amazing programming videos so first of all you can see that this is our might be helper class and inside this class i will create a function the name of this function will be public void add contact and inside this function i will pass two parameters the first one will be string name and the second one will be string phone number the reason we use void here because this function will be return nothing we will only use this function to add our contact inside this function first of all we have to create a reference of our database class so i will type here sqlite database space db is equal to new sorry this dot get writable database so here you can see two functions get writable database and get readable database because we want to insert same insert something that's why i will use writable but if you want to retrieve data from your database then you will use get readable database so i will use get writable database function semicolon and now by using this uh, db this object we have to call a function db dot insert and inside this function we have to pass three parameters the first one will be table name and second null column hack and third one will be content values i will pass my table name here my table name is stored in a variable named table underscore name so i will type here table underscore name and second parameter i will pass null here because we don't want to insert anything uh, null value in our column that's why i am passing null here and third one we have to pass content values here so content values means your content your data of the users that you want to store inside your table so first of all i will type here uh, content values i will create the object of this class i'm going to name this values new content values and semicolon and uh, by using this object i will call a function values dot put so you can see that inside this function we have to pass two parameters the first one will be our key i means our table column name and the second one will be the value that we want to store in that column i will use this function and the first parameter i will pass here a uh, key name i means the column name of our database so i will type here key name comma and the second thing i have to pass is our value so i will type here name and again i have to call this function uh, the, use this object values dot put and uh, i have to type my second column name which is key underscore phone number so i will write this variable that have stored my column name key underscore phone number comma and the second parameter will be the phone number of my user that i will be stored in my database and now i have to pass this object values here and press semicolon that's why the code of this function has been completed now i will open the main activity and inside this main activity i will create object of my database class so i will type here my db helper db helper is equal to new my db helper and inside this i will pass context or you can type this word and next by using this object i have to call my function add contact and i have to pass my data that i want to insert inside my table so suppose the name of uh, your user is find gap and second parameter we have to pass phone number so i am going to pass a dummy phone number here and semicolon so guys our code have been completed now let me run the app so i can show you the output while our app is running i want to tell you that when our main activities on kid method will be called first of all an object of our database class will be created and then this object i have called a function add contact by using this object and this data will be passed to my this function here and here you can see that i have got a database reference here and by using this object of our sqlite database class i have call a function insert and inside this i have to pass three parameters the first one will be my table name and the second one will be null because we don't want to insert a null value inside my table that's why i have typed null here and the third one will be object of our content values 
class so actually this is our content i mean the data that we want to store in our table so guys our app have been run successfully now let me show you that whether our data have insert or not so first of all you have to open app inspection here if you don't know how to open your app inspection just click on view click on tool windows and inside the tool window you will see an app inspection so guys by clicking on app inspection tool here you can see that our emulator that is running you can see your emulator here and you have to click on this your package name and again you have to apply changes to your app to see your table here when you will apply changes to your app here you can see that this is our data table contacts this is our database and this is our table contacts and there here you can see three columns id name and phone number and these are the data types of our columns and when i will double click on our contacts so guys here you can see our data have been inserted successfully inside our sqlite database so the reason it is inserted two times because uh, when we up apply changes second time that's why this own kit method run two time and uh, that's why our this data have inserted two times so guys by using this technique you can insert data inside your sqlite database so if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section and please share this video with your those friends who want to learn android apps development and finally thanks for watching